You're watching Fox 13's Good Day Tampa Bay. Uh, hey, we I got a cool school to tell you about today, and it is Tampa Day School. And look at that. They are rolling out the welcome mat for me, at least the welcome whiteboard. Uh, can't wait to tell you about this place. This is a place where children who learn differently get to meet teachers who teach differently. Uh, UHA, you ha uh, They understand and honor <laughs> the child's needs so the child can achieve their goals, and they do it with passion. That's the exclamation point. We're talking about children uh, with dyslexia, ADHD, anxiety issues. They take care of all of that here. It's a beautiful two through eight school. I can't wait to show you around and we're gonna have a good day at this cool school. Awesome, all right, Charlie, thank you. Charlie Belcher's at a cool school. Hey, Charlie. Walter, do you see what we're doing? What are we doing, Walter? Chew, chewing? You see what we're all doing? Chewing gum? We're Some chewing gum. Around, chewing gum. Whoa! Well, but wait a second, we're at a school. How can we be chewing gum? You know how many times I had to spit out my gum in school? You know one reason why Tampa Day School is a cool school? Because you can chew gum here. Even the teachers chewing gum. Because they understand scientific research that chewing gum helps make you more alert for at least 20 minutes. It puts you in a better mood and it, and it helps you learn, right? Because some students here, actually all the students here, learn a little differently and the teachers teach a little differently, right? So we're gonna enjoy some gum today, right? Yeah? <laughs> Please don't tell my mother. Please don't tell my mother. Stick around, everybody. We're having a good day at a cool school. <laughs> hey, Charlie, what's going on? Russell, with all due respect to uh, Ms. Streisand, can we not let my wife find out about this if it's even an option? <laughs> uh, yeah, believe me, it's a, it's a debate in I my house. Want... It's a debate in my house. Yeah, no, no, just, let's, let's just not let that get back to my wife, all right? Mm, no. Um, hey, uh, I am at a cool school this morning right here in Tampa called Tampa Day School. And if you walk in and they give you a yoo-ha, that is a, that is, they're very proud of that around here because that yoo-ha stands for understand, honor every student's need so the student can achieve their dreams and they do it with passion. That's the exclamation point, the same way I do most of my things. Uh, stick around, everybody, and meet the woman who I'm told personifies Tampa Day School next. Good day, Tampa Bay, and welcome to a very cool school. It is Tampa Day School. I'm Charlie Belcher. This is Lois, who is head of school here. It is grades two through eight, and they like to talk about that their students learn differently so their teachers teach differently and your specialty here is, is children with uh, dyslexia adhd maybe some anxiety issues and, and you guys give them the yoo-ha approach you got it with the passion I, right. I love yeah. that understanding and honor so they can achieve and, and all of it done with passion mm -hmm. uh, brag on your school a little bit lois what, well, what's it all about here you know what i really think is that just like you and i charlie um School is what kids do for a living, and they need to meet just as much success every day as you and I do. So for a lot of these kids, they haven't met that success yet when they've come here, and so that's our job, um, is to raise the bar a little bit, keep on having them meet more and more success. It's a private school. Uh, how many kids you got? How many students? 150. 100, and good for you, because I think about 150 students struggling somewhere else, you know, that might, that maybe the school doesn't have the time to stop or, or doesn't have the time to teach differently, mm -hmm. and you guys can do that and these your, your students are thriving absolutely it's great we've got the most passionate teachers you could imagine here i love the way you said that passion with that you <laughs> how the way we do as well and it's just about those teachers understanding again why and how these kids struggled in other settings and then finding out what each kid kind of needs to make that happen for them and sometimes it's little letting them chew gum mm -hmm. yeah, let's not fight that gum battle i mean yeah. you say that chewing gum 20 minutes it might make them perk up put them in a better mood yep. and help them learn a little uh, bit and brain breaks things like that leave it to raise your toes just 10 times you're more alert uh, yeah. just or if one student needs to yeah. stand up in class let the, let the child stand up in class you if, got if, it. as long as he's not being disruptive to somebody else necessarily and and no homework no homework i want to go to school here uh, but that's because the homework is done here so the teachers can help that's what we say we have taken that hassle out of homework and the frustration that happens in families every night, uh, which is a huge struggle uh, right. and sense of stress, because we actually do the homework here Monday through Thursday, because there shouldn't be homework on weekends anyway. Right. But we do it right here. It's the last period of the day. It's wonderful. That's Parents good love for it. You. Kids love it. All right. And I love it too. Yeah. Good for you. All right, Tampa Day School. More with them. We're having a cool school kind of day. Stick around and have one with us. First, Charlie Belcher. Good morning. Hanging out with some cool kids.
Yes, indeed, Jennifer Epstein. And what's important to remember is I tell you about Tampa Day School. Now, it's a school specifically for kids with dyslexia, ADHD, anxiety issues. It is not a different curriculum. It's not some watered-down curriculum. Same curriculum that they're doing at other prep schools, only they do it a little differently here because the kids are learning a little differently. And they get to come out into a garden. This is a Tampa Day School garden. Look at all the smiles of my gardeners. Yeah, everybody, look at the camera. Wave. You're allowed. Go. Look at that. See? They got, a, they got a good day garden out here themselves. And we're having a good day in the garden. We hope you have a good day with us at this cool school. Stick around, everybody. Good day, Tampa Bay. I got a cool school to tell you about. It's called Tampa Day School right here in Tampa. Private school teaching students from, age, uh, from grades 2 to 8. Students who might learn a little differently, but that's all right. We got teachers here teaching a little differently. Kids who might have some dyslexia issues or ADHD or anxiety, they learn in a great environment. Same kind of curriculum you'll see at any other prep school, but just done through wonderful teachers like Jen here. If I only had a brain. Yes, now I've got one. Uh, our brain caps here. This is a, a part of a teaching lesson, uh, yes. a teaching tool you're using yes. in your class. We're learning about the nervous system right now, and so this is a great way for them to understand how each of their lobes actually work nice. and so I have a couple of examples okay. of how they actually work so Danny here is bilingual and he oh. actually uses his temporal lobe oh, yeah. Yeah. Como estas? oh uh, muy bien, ¿Y tú? bien. Todo oh. bien. yo soy repetero para Fox <laughs> sí, entiendo. Yeah, I'm, yeah I, I'm, I understand. Yeah, I don't, though. I'm done at that point. <laughs> and my brains are actually that flat. Uh, and then what else we got? Okay, and then we have Aiden over here. And Aiden utilizes his frontal lobe on the left and on the right. The left side actually does his logical thinking, and his right does his creative. And he's actually a phenomenal engineer and comes up with some amazing projects. Nice. Look at that. That's yes. fantastic. And are we good? Are we done with the brains? Um, and then just Milena. Milena is a awesome se specimen of how she actually utilizes her parietal lobe and her motor cortex. Whoa! Yes. Nice! My, my brain definitely does not do that. <laughs> well done. So that's the way we do a little science. And then we've also got to keep these kids active. And here we are. Mr. Malarkey is here talking about our sports our at sports, Tampa yes. Day School. We work really hard to honor our students. So sports is a great area where our students have strength from. We have, we have our cross country and track runners. <laughs> we've got our girls volleyball team. We've got our boys basketball team that did great this year. We've got soccer. So we have six sports. We have 11 teams, including junior varsity and varsity. And we just work really hard to honor those students because they they know they come to school with strengths, and a lot of them is in the academic area as well as performing arts and art, and we just love to have our kids and participate against other elite private schools in the area, and we just love it because the kids compete. They do a great job. We're working on, you know, sportsmanship and coping with losing and all those, like, hidden yeah. curriculum kind of skills that we have to teach our kids to be successful successful in life. It's so important, absolutely. By the way, I see you over there. I, lay there the key with the ball right there. Oh, I see you. I see what you got going on over there. Not bad at all. Future NBA, perhaps. Uh, they've also got a performing arts element to this school where you can see I'm now surrounded by gods and a goddess and you were is this for a project you guys are working on yes um, our project was gods and goddesses history alive stuff and who are you I'm Poseidon god of the water of course you are and who are you my dear I'm Artemis the goddess of hunting oh nice and who are you I'm Dionysus the god of wine and drunkenness hey, hey, give me that kid you're not old enough for that I Please. told you, you leave Mr. Belcher's things alone. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Good job, everybody. We got everybody on TV. Good job. Good job. You see how well-rounded this is? It is a well-rounded school, Tampa Day School. Told you it was cool. We're going to take you inside the classroom next. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I needed to laugh this morning. That was good. Thank you. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I know. And you do it well, my yes, friend. See you later. Look at this. Two days of fresh vegetables for me. I was at the Sweetwater Organic Community Farm yesterday, and they gave me some collards, and I got some more collards. Look at this. From our garden to your heart, Tampa Day School. These are the guys that were out in the garden growing this right here at Tampa Day School, our cool school of the day. And when we come back, we're going to take you inside the classroom where the curriculum, just like you find in any other prep school, these kids learn a little differently, so the teachers teach a little differently. We'll show you when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. 
Jennifer Epstein, imagine a place mm -hmm. that specializes in dealing with students who might have dyslexia, ADHD, anxiety issues, all under one roof, grades two through eight. That place is where I am this morning. It's called Tampa Day School. And whoa, 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 whoa. What, are they throwing paper wads around here? They're having well, fun. Miss Michelle, all right, well, hold on a second, everybody. What's going on here? We're having a snowball fight in Florida. We do the snowball fights because while they're happening, the kids are laughing and smiling. We're releasing endorphins, and oh. it relieves stress and anxiety. Now their brains can think and do their work. Oh, well, then keep it up for all. All right, gently, gently. All right, somebody just hit me in the ear. No. All right, now, there is a method to this madness. Three, two, one, stop. All right, everybody stop. Now, where do we go from here, Miss Michelle? <laughs> so now everyone opens up their snowball and reads the question on the snowball to review for their quiz tomorrow. Oh, Alex, Alex, what do you got over here? So you just got a snowball. Turn around here. Oh. What, is your, what does your snowball say? I'll tell you as soon as I open it. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. So you want to read it or do you want me to read it? So this question is to explain how the 14th Amendment should have kept the Jim Crow laws from being established and followed. Do you want to try to answer it? Well, you know, I hate to make, you know, you guys um, not look as smart. So I, I'm, I'm going to you want to answer it? So the 14th Amendment should have kept the Jim Crow laws from being discovered. I mean, sorry, not discovered. Followed and established is because the 14th Amendment is equal rights for everyone, including African Americans. But the Jim Crow laws are like separating African Americans, blacks, and whites. You know what? That's exactly what I was going to say. And you did a great job, Alex. Good job. Wow. See, that is a snowball fight in Florida. Miss Michelle, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Those are eighth graders, by the way. Eighth graders in this class. Now I'm going to take you over here to this class of fifth graders who are also learning in a little different way. I hear music playing. What exactly is happening in here? Hi, they're doing a Kagan cooperative structure called Mixed Pair Share. And you do it for a lot of different reasons. You could do it for academic reasons. We're using it as a class building activity right now. Um, it builds classroom environment and enhances learning. It provides movement and fun in the classroom. And they're going by the teacher and they're getting what? They're, oh, the music stopped. Now what happens? You'll hear right here. They pair up. Oh, so when the music stops, they have to pair up. Yes. Oh, so this is learning with a partner. Yes. So it um, develops a synergy. Two minds are better than one. And they ask a question, and each shares their response to that question. They learn how to make eye contact, think on the fly, talk about different things. And you can use this with how to solve a math problem. You can use this um, in reading and language arts with uh, plot development. Or you can use it, as we're using it right now, just as a class-building activity to get to know our friends better. I love it. I love it. Uh, and by the way, if you didn't notice, uh, that is a, uh, a therapy dog who makes everybody feel a little more comfortable. That's the kind of cool school this is. So, Russell Rhodes, you, you see where I'm getting at here? It's, it's the same curriculum you're going to find at any other prep yeah. school. It's just done differently because these students learn differently. I, and, and let me just say one thing. You, I think you tried to, like, make it look like you knew the answer with the kid <laughs> next door. Um, I didn't remember what the 14th Amendment was. I, I, <laughs> I didn't yeah. either. I, I didn't I, either. In fact, I prepped him. I said, he asked me the question, and I'll answer it. <laughs> I am not smarter than an eighth grader. <laughs> well, yeah, me either. All right, hey, I love that place, though. We'll talk more, more later, okay? Okay. Hey, everybody. We are having a good day at Tampa Day School, our cool school of the week, and you are watching the 2018 Hawk Walk because they are the Tampa Day School Hawks. And what is this walk all about? Amy is here. She's the president of the PTO here, Parent Teacher Organization. Yes, sir. So, uh, what's the Hawk Walk all about? So the Hawk Walk is our annual fundraiser that we um, have at the school, and it's for our PTO. And what we do is we decided that we would also teach our children to be um, great stewards in the community. And in addition to raising money for the school, we give um, to a charity each year. We pick a local charity. Nice. And um, we give back to the community that way. So this year, our um, charity is pack a -Sack for Kids. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, for kids who uh, need maybe a meal over the weekend if they're right. on free or reduced lunches right. during the week. So this, this is an organization that operates throughout Tampa, and they have um, divisions in Pasco, Pinellas, Hillsborough, and they pack, um, you know, whether that be granola bars, applesauce. Nice. 
tuna for kids that don't have meals over the weekend. And just so people know, Tampa Day School is grades 2 through 8, a private school for kids with dyslexia, ADHD, anxiety issues. They learn a little differently, so they teach a little differently here. And you have a child here, and you have to be happy here. I love this school. Um, I've been here since my son's been here since fifth grade. This is his last year, and I am... We're going to go to high school next year, and we're very worried. We don't want to leave Tampa Day School, so we love Tampa Day School. Good for you. Good for you. And by the way, this is Bear. Bear is a therapy dog that helps the kids learn, too, because they're, they're comfortable around Bear. It calms them down. Yeah, we introduce him to new kids when they're shadowing and visiting at the school, and he calms them down, introduces them, breaks the ice. I love it's a it. lot of fun to have around. I love it. There you go, folks. yee -haw! Understanding, honoring, so the kids can achieve their dreams with passion, right? Right. Love it. Love it. Great. See you when you get back, man. Thank you.